it's your girl Ronya back with another video fam okay so I just finished doing a protein treatment on my hair and my hair is currently in six individual braids all I have on it is just a leave-in um, my hair's been like this for about five days but I don't have any gel or anything in my hair if you're interested in seeing me do a video on how I do my protein treatments, drop a comment down below and I will do one in the future. Today's video is going to be a review of the new Texture ID Curls Marumaru Butter Line. Hopefully I'm saying that word correctly. Now on the bottle, the jar does have it circled for type three hair, just like the coils line was for type four hair. But I have a combination of type three and type four, so I wanted to go ahead and just try it out for you guys. First on the line is going to be the cleansing conditioner. Now, honey, we are not going to talk about the fact that my braids are backing in this clip because that is just poor editing on my part. But <laughs> what this cleansing conditioner smells like is kind of like a semi-sweet. It's like, you know, when something's trying to be sweet, but it's not like a shortbread cookie. Yeah, it kind of smells like vanilla mixed with like a little splash of plum. So if you're not big onto scents or real fruity, overpowering, sweet smells, like this will be good for you because it's very, very subtle. It's very thick in consistency. It's white. Now off the rip, I'm not even gonna lie to you. This feels like the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And we went ahead and we got our hair wet and under the shower. And when I put it in, it was exactly what I thought it would be. It felt just like the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Um, as you can see, when I'm putting it in my hair, there's not gonna be any suds like a regular shampoo would be because this is simply a cleansing conditioner conditioner so simply almost like if you're just doing a co-wash like with getting some conditioner in your hair and rinsing that out that's basically what it feels like but um i would recommend doing something like this if you didn't have a lot of buildup. if you had like gel in your hair or um, a bunch of oil in your hair this might not be good for you but like i said earlier i did a protein treatment so the only thing i had in my hair was a leave-in conditioner thought that this would be really good for something on those days where you don't have a lot of buildup in your hair after i rinsed the cleansing conditioner out this is how my hair looked i will say it was great for detangling but i was a little disappointed this line did not have a deep conditioner so i went in with the original deep treatment mask um, this is from the very first line that Texture ID came out with. It's not part of this line, but I had to improvise. So I focused on putting it on my ends and then I just put my hair into two alligator bun clip thingies, whatever you want to call these things. That's what I do every time I deep condition. And I left it in my hair like this for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes were up, I went ahead and I took out the clips. Now I am a firm believer in finger detangling but I have been trying something out um, for about the past month here. I got one of these little, I guess you call them like water cones. I don't even know what this is called. They sell it at Dollar Tree and at, at Walmart for a dollar or dollar oh eight, if you wanna be exact. And I am just going to detangle with this little water cone thingy, my bobber, for um, about one minute, but I'm only doing it on my ends. Um, since I do have coily hair, and my hair in its natural state does tend to wind around each other. Um, this extra little detangling with the comb helps me prevent from getting the fairy knots or the single strand knots as some people call them. So that's what I'm doing, but I do still do finger detangling. I just like to do this extra added detangle at the ends of my hair. Now, after I finish detangling the ends of my hair, this is something I incorporated into my hair regimen about a week ago. This is called a scalp massager and I put this on my head while the deep conditioner is still on. You guys, it feels like someone is massaging your hair. It feels so good, like feeling these little bristles on your scalp. And um, if you don't know, this also promotes hair growth because it's stimulating your, your scalp and your hair follicles. So I did this for about a minute and then I go ahead and rinse out the deep conditioner. So I went ahead and I put a shower cap on top of my hair with it in two clips. The reason being is because I wanted to keep as much moisture in my hair as possible. And um, then I went and applied the enhancing primer. Now the primer says that it detangles, defines, and preps curls for styling. I can say that this um, primer was a little bit runnier than the cleansing conditioner. The scent was the exact same, like a hint of 
plum with a hint of vanilla, but it was still very light. And um, it did feel very um, basic to me. It didn't feel like it was gonna do anything um, special to me in my personal opinion. But honey, once I applied it into my hair, I really started to feel it work its magic. So you can see my face. I'm like, oh gosh, like, yeah, this stuff was really doing its thing. Like it, it didn't seem like it was gonna do much, but once it got into my hair, I could really feel the moisture in my hair. I could feel that it was helping with any extra detangling that I might not have got when I was, you know, cleansing it and doing the deep conditioner. So I definitely did get surprised with this enhancing primer. Now, last but certainly not least was the styling custard. I can't quite put my finger on the exact smell of the custard. Um, it definitely has a different smell than the cleansing conditioner as well as the enhancing primer. It's almost like it's even less of a smell, if that makes sense. Now this styling custard says that it softly defines and controls curls with a crunch-free, non-caking formula that can be used for rod sets, twist outs, wash and goes, and braid outs. Now, um, as you can see, this is a custard. It's not gonna be a gel, so it's a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot more movement in it versus like your Eco Styler Gel or your Edge Booster Gel or your um, Wet Line Extreme. Like this is more of like a jelly. So um, for those who are not into like the harsh gels, maybe a custard might be more of your thing. This is a line that offers a custard. So once I applied that into my hair, um, it honestly just felt kind of like a flaxseed gel almost. If you've ever used flaxseed gel, you know how it, it's kind of runny. And I put that in my hair, it felt like it was moisturizing. It didn't feel like it was like a, a tacky feel or it didn't feel harsh like a, a gel would feel. It didn't feel as thick as a gel, but it still felt like it was mixing well with the enhancing primer which is always a plus because we know whenever a leave-in and a gel go together, or in this case, a custard, and they don't mix, you will get that white, ugly, like, cast, and it doesn't, yeah. So this line really did well as far as the pairing with all the products mixing well together. I repeated the same steps on the other side, applying the curl enhancing primer first and then going on top with the styling custard. And this is how my hair looked while it was still wet. I'm gonna come back and show you my hair at 50%. This is my hair 50% dry. And now this is my hair 100% dry, getting ready to go to bed. I noticed this line did not provide an oil, so I went ahead and just added my own oil to my scalp and a little bit to my ends to, you know, get rid of any cast that might appear. I put my hair into two scrunchies, do a pineapple, and put a bonnet on, and I went to sleep just like this. And now it's the next day, and I'm going to take my scrunchies out of my pineapple hairstyle, shake my hair vigorously, and fluff it out. And this is how my hair looked the very next day. Now, I do stretch my hair occasionally, but child, it's too hot. It's the summer, and I just didn't feel like getting near a blow dryer. So I'm not going to stretch it with any heat. I'm just going to let it naturally stretch on its own when I use a pineapple each night. Now, if you ever get any creasing from your pineapple, just get a bobby pin and pull that hair over to the side, and that'll fix that problem. Um, so here's my overall thoughts on this line was it my favorite line ever in life no did i find some products that i liked yes the only thing that i would probably repurchase would be the enhancing primer which would be their leave-in i really did like that but as far as the cleansing conditioner um the as i am coconut co-wash is better to me and um i think it's actually like a dollar cheaper so i'm gonna stick with the as i am and the styling custard, uh, I just feel like I've used custards in the past that were better than this one. Um, I didn't get any flakes. My hair didn't feel hard or crunchy. And that's just my honest opinion for my hair. Now for you, it might be completely different. Um, so this is again, just my personal opinion and my own review. I wish that they would have had like an oil that I could use as well as a deep conditioner. As you see, I have to use a deep conditioner from another one of the Texture ID lines. So 
Hope you guys like this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed if you are not a member of the family. Thanks for watching and until next time. Peace.